Jared Poland Fronos Photo.com and this is your photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Wirestock, which is the easiest way to sell your photos, videos, and vectors online. That's right, all of those photos and videos you have sitting around, yeah, well you should be uploading them to Wirestock and making some money. Now here's how it works. You upload your photos or videos to Wirestock. They tag and keyword them for you, that's right, for you, and then distribute them for sale on the largest stock websites like Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, 123RF, Pond5, and many, many more. You can do this all from one single free account. No subscription fees or flat fees. When you sell something, Wirestock takes 15% and you get the rest. There's no excuse to not at least try this out. Now don't tell me that you live in a place where you can't get any images. Because if you live in the middle of nowhere, guess what? Shoot middle of the nowhere things like fences and trees and one horse towns, whatever. Now if you live in the city, shoot the lights, shoot the signs, shoot people's feet walking, steam coming out of grates, manholes. No Dan, still not those manholes. Everything. Go make some money with Wirestock. Sign up for free right now at bit.ly slash fro wire. First up, over the summer, I brought you a story about a woman who was breastfeeding her child in a public park on a bench when a man across the way on another bench whipped out his, he whipped out his camera, all right? He whipped out his camera. I don't know where your brain was going, but what he did do is switch lenses to a telephoto lens and started taking pictures. The woman, Julie Cooper, not to be mistaken with Winnie Cooper of Manchester, England, said at the time, I just felt that was so wrong that we had been violated in this way and there was nothing the police could do to help. So instead of just sitting around, she contacted her local labor, 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 L-A-B-O-U-R MP, Jeff Smith. Oh, that guy's a socialist. Boo, Jeff Smith, boo. I don't know who Jeff Smith is, all right? I know nothing about British politics, but it sounded about right that someone would yell something at him. You couldn't possibly know that. Whatever, I'm making a point. I mean, what is the point? Anyway, Jeff spoke to his friend Stella. Hey, Stella! who put forward an amendment and bam, by golly, I think it worked. The new law will make it illegal to take images of, or get this, or otherwise observe breastfeeding without consent or a reasonable belief to consent. All right, let's try this on for size. Pardon me, may I please watch you breastfeeding? But of course. And what's reasonable consent? Like a smile and a head nod? That's consent, right? No, probably not. Blinking, is blinking consent? Breathing, how about breathing? Still no. No, consent in this case would be yes, you may observe or take photos of me breastfeeding. Thank you for asking. Would you like some for your coffee? The new law did specify in order to be found guilty, the perp must be acting for the purpose of obtaining sexual gratification or humiliating, alarming, or distressing the victim. Shit, I distress a lot of people every day when I go out, but that's just me being me. You really should stop. Nonetheless, it's good that something was done. Moving on, according to Nikon Rumors, the next batch of Z9s is rumored to ship out in mid-January. Nikon Rumors says, I received some information from Asia that the next Nikon Z9 shipment is expected in mid-January. I'm not sure how big this shipment will be or if it will even make it to the US at all. Bummer. Now what I do know is that Alan's camera got a bunch of NPS Z9s in, but I have no idea how many in total they received. Basically, the Z9 is impossible to get right now, unless you'd like to shell out $12,000 for one on eBay, which it looks like someone has already done because there's a sold listing for 12K. Yeah. On the other hand, there are still a few up for sale right now, and what we should do is contact one of the people and see if we could make a deal. Here we go. Oh my God. I think it's Madeline K and Nikon PR. What do you mean, how did I get this number? You're selling Z9s for $12,000, aren't you? Hello? Oh. She must have hung up. She's gonna be fired. That does give me an idea though, because I wonder if Nikon will be upset if I sold my loaner unit for $12,000. I mean, I could try and buy two from Alan's camera, send one back to Nikon and keep the other. Or who am I kidding? I would sell the other for another $12,000. Winning. 
And finally, as I've been saying for years now, DSLRs are dead. Now, before you yell at me and say, Jared, you can get great pictures with anything. This is correct. I know that. Let me clarify. DSLRs are dead for high-end pros who demand the latest and greatest in camera technology to allow them to capture images that they otherwise would never have been able to capture in the first place. I still think that DSLRs are a fantastic place for new photographers to learn. They function extremely well for generations and they will continue to do so, and I have no doubt about that. But they will continue to do so without any new DSLRs being produced. In an interview given by Canon's chairman and CEO, Mr. Mitterai, Canon's SLR flagship model is known as the EOS 1 series, the first of which appeared in 1989. Mind you, this is translated. Please remind you that this is translated. The latest model, EOS 1DX Mark III, released in 2020, will be the last model in fact. Fact is a term demanding an equal answer with a The good news is, prices of used DSLRs and EF glass will continue to drop for years to come, giving a cheaper entry point for people just starting out. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around to check out the last fix go ahead and click on the screen right here thank you very much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe jared polinfronosphoto.com see ya